A health care employee who worked at the Deborah Johnson Rehab Center is behind bars this morning. She's accused of sneaking drugs into the prison. Jaxie Pigeon is live outside from the downtown detention center for what with, with what we know so far. Well, Allie, 39-year-old Shanika Lamb is the woman behind bars here this morning after she admitted to bringing drugs into a state prison with plans to distribute them within that facility. She is actually a certified nursing assistant who was working at the Deborah Johnson Rehab Center at the time of her arrest. The Tennessee Department of Correction clarified to News 2 that Lamb is not a state employee. Rather, she was working for a contractor. According to the arrest warrant, Lamb told special agents that a man named Leon Howard told her to pick up a package containing meth, narcotics, and cash at a business on Centennial Place in West Nashville. She did that and then drove about 10 minutes up the road to Deborah Johnson Rehab Center, where she was in intending to deliver the drugs and money. She tells officials she was able to get those items inside the prison by placing them inside a food container. She would then hide them in a box of toilet paper under a linen cloth inside the state's the state prison's infirmary. That's exactly where the box was eventually discovered by agents with the contraband interdiction unit. The TDOC tells us they use numerous methods to detect and prevent contraband from entering their facilities, like body scanners, metal detectors, and x ray machines for everyone that comes in. In a statement to News 2, Sarah Gallagher with TDOC says, quote, the introduction of contraband is an evolving threat at every correctional agency in the world. However, the Tennessee Department of Correction continues to take a proactive approach and has a zero tolerance policy for anyone who attempts to introduce it into our facilities. Now, Lamb is jailed on a $60,000 bond. Her first court appearance is set for Wednesday morning. Live at the downtown detention center, Jaxie Pigeon, News 2.